Vatranian Nux Ani. Welcome back to Airbus Review SA in conjunction with Pelagans.com. Today we have something new on the market that is first in South Africa. As always, like we said, Pelagans is the place to be, my friend. So in this beautiful box, it's a titanium box, you'll get the Nixon. The Nixon air rifles are flipping superb. We'll talk about that in a bit. Um, today in this box we've got there's numerous models um, in this Nixon range so we've got the Nixon Ozark TS for synthetic stock synthetic stock that's what it is so if you have a look at this case this case is pretty quite um, strong and sturdy so if you have a look it's got a place where you can put like a like a little lock or something if you need to go overseas or wherever and you, you want to transport it and lock it up you can do that um, these clips here are pretty decent you know you can clip them in perfectly and you can detach them quite well so let's check what we got in this box of this Nixon Ozark so look at that this is a beautiful packaging it's got like that styrofoam egg type shape um, styrofoam is quite nice, it's, it's smooth, I love it. So upon looking at this thing in the box, right, you've got numerous things in here. There's a quite a lot of things. This is the first time I've seen a manufacturer giving us so many nice little goodies in the box, you know. So, but anyway, let's just go through all the things that comes in the box and then we'll go feature the air rifle. So what I've seen is we've got our shot cord yeah, done at 25 meters. That is pretty decent. I mean, look at that. And it's even laminated. This shop. Um, it's got like a little forearm grip bipod. Um, yeah, it's about plasticky um, style, but flipping hell. I mean, you get this for free with a gun in the price. That is pretty decent. I mean, it's those ones that you just push that little knob and it jumps out to be a nice little bipod. That is pretty decent. I like that. And then even on the side, yeah, it's got like a little Picatinny rail. So if you want to put on a torch or something. So it can be done quite well because if you have a look at it, if I put it in the front here and you hold it, it's like a little handle as well. But yeah, let me, I don't want to pick up this gun. This gun is flipping awesome. But anyway, have a look at that. You get like a little cloth, Nixon little cloth. Um, you've got a little bit of, it's like an oil inside this little dropper thing here. you got your quick full, quick coupler here. That you don't get in many guns, eh? You got like a doughty washer, some O-rings, some Allen, Allen keys there. So that's a pretty good bag. And I see it's got two burst discs. Well done, Nixon. Then you got a little key ring, Nixon Defense Industry. That's quite nifty. That's quite nice. Okay, you got this. This is your salt. <laughs> no, just joking. It's an anti-rust pad. You got your Nixon user manual. Um, have a look at it. You've got all the different types of models. Let's have a look at through a little bit here. So it tells you what, how to fill it, you know, all your warning signs, not to fill it with, um, with normal air, breathing air only, no oxygen. All right. So he has the Nixon ALF PCP. Uh, he has the Nixon Ozark, the one which we have today. Got the Escalade, Archero, and then the Tacto. But uh, we only brought some of the models in. It even says general information, how to put the safety and how to adjust the trigger. Shows you how to remove your barrel. If you've got pellets stuck in there, it shows you how to use the in and outer o-ring on your pellet transfer port, which is flipping fantastic. Filling the magazine, that is quite good. And all of this is in English. I mean, some of the guys don't even know how to load these magazines, you know, but yeah, they explain it to you even with pictures. That is fantastic. Even the way the magazine, it's an exploded view, even of your body with all the parts. And that's that. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Upon picking it up, it really feels quite light. And um, it's got an adjustable butt pad here at the back. You can adjust your cheek razor up or down. It's got a rubber butt pad, which is nice. 
and it's adjustable. That's what I like about this. Uh, yeah, your safety will be uh, right by your thumb, so you can put it fire or safe. It's got a spoon type cocking lever on the side, it's silver. You've got your adjuster here, your transfer port adjuster. Um, I want to show you also something that I saw here now, but I'll get to the camera quite close so you can see. Um, let's just talk about it. It's got a plastic stock and it's got a plastic um, uh, the Picatinny rail in the front here. But um, this is pretty darn strong, this plastic. Let me tell you that. Have a look at this little trigger. That trigger shoe, you could, it's like they call it a match style. So you'll be able to change the adjustments up or down, sideways or whatever. Um, I don't see that you can adjust the trigger from outside. You're going to have to take off the stock to adjust it, which is not too bad because out of the box it's quite good. Um, standard is flipping awesome. Uh, it's got a tank here in the front. It's a 400cc tank. If I'm not mistaken, it's 300 bar um, pressure working, but we're going to, on the gauge, it says you fill it up to 250 bar, which is the safest one. It's got a safety burster, so if you do charge it over there, it will burst it, and then that's why they gave you a spare one, so you don't mess up your O-rings, which is very, very nice. So this bottle looks like it is a 42 liter, 0.42, so that's pretty cool. Um, you'll get a lot of shot counts. I reckon about they say about you get about 50 shots out of this full But we'll see about that. Then you've got a half inch UNF adapter in the front here So you can install a silencer because these guns are quite loud without the silencers So I would suggest you get yourself a silencer here. We've got numerous silencers available here at pelleguns.com um, we've got the uh, we're, we've got the new fat boy in, we've got the um, Dash silencers, which is a, quite a winner, and we do have our normal titanium one, which is also quite good. But anyway, like I want to, I keep always leaving the, the best for last. One nice thing that I saw about this gun, have a look at this ladies and gentlemen, if I move this pellet probe down look at that it's a pin probe do you see that can you believe that a pin probe so you don't have to go and install different pin probes on this thing to make it faster it is already there and another thing i've seen you've got a, ma a magazine uh, magnet in there so upon looking at the magazines in the box guys look at this it's got, a mag it's got a magnet underneath there as well. You get a total of four magazines in this box, which gun supplier or whoever gives you four in a box. There's not a lot of them. This is the first I've ever seen. Unless if you go and buy the other makes and models, you have to always buy extras. These guys have given you four in the box. I can't believe that. But yeah. Um, it's a very nice magazine, it's quite sturdy, it's quite thick this plastic so you won't be able to break it, if you do then you are he-man, but anyway, I think let's stop talking here and let's go see how it shoots, I'm pretty keen to see how it does. I put a Discovery 5 to 30 by 56 FFP, first focal plane, HD glass, I'm going to shoot now at 50 meters um, with the, I've got these domed olympia shot pellets the 15.89s i'm gonna quickly try them out because they're pretty promising and let's go for it Nine hundred thirty-five. Nine hundred thirty-seven. Nine hundred thirty-seven. You won't believe that. My goodness. Let's go check out that grouping. That was phenomenal. I mean, Nixon made in Turkey. This gun surprises me. I mean, goodness. For the price it comes in, you won't get any better. Um, 
the one thing I didn't mention to you guys is, have a look at that. This piece there, it's a standard quick coupler fitting. So you can use any other fitting on your gun. You don't have to have a special type of fitting, which is awesome. Let's go have a look at that, gre that grouping there. Um, these uh, Thor slugs are also pretty decent. They do pretty well. I'm going to use them for the hunting scene. I just wanted to show you what grouping you can get out of this gun. And um, let's smash it. So yeah, we're down at 50 meters. Look at that size of a grouping. Those Olympia pellets. It is <laughs> phenom phenomenal. Look at that sizing. I mean, even if you can see this little thingy, it's blowing around in the wind. That was a pretty decent grouping. You know, um, I give it a thumbs up for target and it's probably gonna do really well shooting pigeons uh, we'll go do that in just a bit but yeah i'm pretty impressed with this gun i mean got four magazine in the box you've got your quick coupler in there you've got your manual your tools everything i mean what more can you ask for i mean the price is even bloody darn good and you get your accuracy out of that thing like that it comes in a hard case and the plus point is you can put it on your scope and it will fit in your bag with your scope that is a good thing. Um, Nixon, you've done a really well job. Nixon Defense Team, I really give you a thumbs up on a great, great, great product. Thanks a lot for bringing it. It is a tactical style, but there are numerous other models, which we'll do a review in, a, in, in some time. But yeah, let's go and do some bird hunting. All right, so this is gonna be like our first pigeon for the day. Or dove. Let's see which ones they are. It's a dove. Look at that. I'm telling you, this gun is super quiet and it's pretty easy to shoot. There's another one sitting on the fence. So, what I like about this air gun, it's predictable, you know what I'm saying? Look at that, guys. That was a 50 meter shot. Um, these were the, with those Olympia pellets. They take them down quite hard. That was pretty decent. Um, with the silencer, it's very quiet. And yeah, got a nice place to stand here and shoot. So I'm pretty happy. There's uh, Nixon Ozark T or synthetic and tactical design. I really like it and it works quite well here in the field shooting these pigeons and uh, sorry and doves not just pigeons it's also doves so as I'm showing you guys you don't just need slugs you can also do it with the lighter pellets like I'm doing right now and um, it's a no-brainer you can also use these pellets I mean they do also hit hard so. hmm. I'm just checking for the right one Do you see what I'm saying? You don't need slugs, to be honest. These things, they tend to hit really hard. I mean, look at that, 30 to 40 meters, easy. 
these pellets they do the job and it all depends on shot placement and as you can see I've only got my rucksack here I've charged this gun up and um, you, know, you get quite a lot of shots per full year you get about you know, if, I'm, if I'm not mistaken they said about 50 to 60 shots I'm getting about 60 to 70 shots which is darn good so I'm pretty happy very very happy so I'm gonna try these another two of them sitting down there look at that down these pellets Olympia pellets <clears throat> As you can see on the footage, it's just boom, takes them down. To be honest, I really like shooting with these pellets. Oh, there's another one on the roof. Great job. So. Let's go for that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is... I really, really, really enjoy this gun. To be honest, it's pretty accurate. And um, if you see... I put on low scope mounts here and this is a 30 mm tube so you get more light um, in, into this scope right here. Um, it's one of my favorite scopes from uh, Discovery. Um, it's the HD 5 to 30 by 56 it's a first focal plane. I'm shooting it now on 15 magnification that's where I set my GoPro on to be with a bit cl crystal clear. and. Um, it really helps me a lot to see longer distances and easier and um, to get the parallax in is also quite easy look at that I mean it just takes him out all right so final thoughts of this Nixon Ozark in the Model T for synthetic and tactical I really do like the way it feels and the way it shoots and the way it's accurate it is phenomenal um, I love the way that they've put standard pieces on you for the quick coupler obviously it comes with it you got uh, four magazines 12 shot each I mean you can't get better than that um, adjustability is awesome with the speeds that you can adjust but uh, you know what go big or go home go flat out that's what we do um, adjustability on your cheek piece and your buttstock at the back here for the length it's got a half inch UNF thread in the front here it's just an awesome track driver yeah you as you could see at the farm I was taking out the pigeons with ease it's more forgiving to shoot it's simple it's easy it's it's value for money would I buy this yes I would definitely I would I'll definitely come by uh, this if I if, if you have the money come do that you know even myself I would definitely buy this um, yeah come down to pelagons.com and we'll see you there at the shop you can get yourself one of these track drivers with Olympia pellets and yeah we'll see you in the next episode please like share and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that as yet do it and we'll see you in the next episode guys have a brilliant blast of a day and a weekend further, man. Enjoy.